Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be going into a very special broadcast. It is going to be a five-game series between the, as I fix my uh, unit bars, because I'm a failure and I cast the last four games without them on selected, uh, uh, going to, into a game between the Protoss player uh, Hasu Obs. He's just playing on Hasu now, although don't, don't uh, miss the invisible obs that are after that in his name uh, against liquid hey pro um, both these players very good uh, hey pro is an excellent uh, zerg player I'm not sure I'm pretty sure um, they are both European I'm probably wrong but it's a good thing no one watches my cast anyway so they won't even need to correct me um, so Liquid Hey Pro uh, is going to be spawning in the upper right corner on my favorite map right now, Zelnaga Caverns, uh, as the blue Zerg and Mouse Hasu is going to be spawning as the red Protoss in the bottom left corner. And uh, I don't—I think he actually might be German, but that accent was um, completely un unintended. Um, so as you can see, he's going to be queuing up a 13th probe, and so he won't be going for that um, that 12 barracks will actually be going for the 13 and I'll probably be chrono boosting this as well. No, maybe not. Just uh, saving that chrono boost up. It's still going for a 13. Uh, got that pylon in a forward position to wall in. Pretty safe against Zerg because you can always get the sentries out to prevent a baneling bus and at the pro level that's pretty much common for uh, players to do effectively. Gonna be rocking out. Oh, I'm actually very proud of, of Hasu Ops. Only, only now starting to spam. It's at 86 APM average. So he's going to be throwing down his gas at about 15, which is the standard time when you get that 13 um, uh, gateway. And it looks like Liquid Hay Pro has gone for the super, super normal build of um, gas, then, then spawning pool at around 13, 14. Uh, looks as though he's positioned that Overlord to scout for any kind of cheese play by uh, Hasu. He's going to be throwing down that little uh, patrol for the, uh, the expansion, whether it's going to come or not. And uh, apparently there was a lag spike and two players left the game. Very nice of them to do such a thing. Uh, and so it looks as though... This is interesting. So Hasu is just now throwing his side core down. And this is pretty late. You usually have your side core down right when that gateway finishes. But he's actually got uh, a zealot coming out first. And I mean that's... And this is not a horribly poor timing for uh, a, an... Or a, play against Zerg. He's going to have that second Zealot coming out as well, just because you have to wall in against any potential Zerglings. And he's using this probe very effectively to delay the Zerglings from running in. Um, uh, hey Pro's going to be throwing down his hatchery at around 20 food. This is a pretty standard standard timing to do. He's mined just enough gas to get that spawning pool uh, at Metabolic Boost upgrade out. Uh, he's got the queen working on uh, spawning larvae, and he's got a second queen out, and that second queen is already rallied to uh, the next ex uh, to the expansion. So he's got the the double wall in right here with the uh, the two zealots. A um, little bit supply blocked, but that will only be for a moment. Um, it looks as though. Oh, look at that! That is some ridiculous micro right there. He pulls that one Zergling back, knowing that he's going to be able to get a scout in. And, okay, so now he's going to pull four probes. I don't know. Ooh. He's going to get this. He's going to get it. Oh, he's not going to get it. Uh, so that, that sentry is going to come out and is going to make short work of that Zergling. So there should be no problem at all for him. Although that scout is going to come in and see, you know, how many gases he's taken, whether or not he's planning on doing a quicker exp an expo. Oh! And this Zergling is now at three. Oh, there we go. Taking it out. Oh, server's out. A little bit of lag going down for them, apparently. Oh, this is a replay, so there is no lag, and all uh, time like that just gets... Ooh, we have a forge going down, and possibly a little bad. Although, there we go. Taking out both of those uh, cells and our Zergans. And wow, it is raining hard outside. I might actually have to close the window. Um, so we have uh, Liquid Hay Pro just going to be transferring his probes. Just really dr uh, droning up really hard. If you can see the production, he's, he's got four Zerglings on the way, but he's got a lot of, of drones transferring. He actually transferred these in two separate um, paths. And I guess when he saw this forge go down, he realized, oh my goodness, you know, there is not going to be any aggression out of uh, Hasu Ops in a while. And Hasu is throwing down uh, 
total of five gateways as well as plus one upgrade. So we are for sure going to be seeing some kind of delayed zealot sentry play on one base. You really, especially when you've got guys pulled out of gas, you really need to put guys back in gas. Uh, and he needs to be using this chrono boost on uh, workers. Uh, it's interesting to see how the pros, like, they all forget chrono boost because they have these builds that are so effective at dealing with, um, and you see him walling in now. This is a really effective play to do. You always want to wall in if you're protoss against a, a zerg pushing out once you have those those warp gates up. You can always destroy them later if you need to, but that's just revealing the fact that he's not expanding anytime soon. He has no probes out in the field that can actually expand, and he's going to be relying solely on um, uh, this five gate you know, push that's coming up in order to win. Although, he's now destroying Pylon to let his probe out. That's kind of retarded. Yep, see, he wants he wanted that probe to come out so he can drop a pylon here or here in order to actually reinforce for this attack. But it looks as though this attack is going to be a little delayed just due to the, the early annoyance that, that occurred. And you can see the, the Zergling's going to be running around again. Really needs to... Oh, uh, this, this is ugly. This is, this is just bad. He needs to be warping in. I mean, I guess he's going to do it now. Warp in a sentry. Not a zealot. That's not good. Doesn't have. Oh, and he's he's a supply block now. Oh, this is going to be bad. Although in the meantime, he's going to be moving in here with uh, his units, getting in behind the all these worthless spine crawlers now. Um, so that's a lot of zerglings. But in this position here, with these three sentries with full energy, he can just force field on either side of himself and just take out this expansion really effectively. Of course, right now, um, these zerglings are making quick work of. Well, I think they should actually be moving in. Ah, this is pretty nice, actually. He's just going to say, okay, you can have Zerglings there, but what I'm going to do... Oh, my goodness. So, this is great force building. There's only, like, a few Zerglings attacking, and not to mention they're completely trapped in here. He still has a few more force builds. So, he's going to be able to take out all of these um, forces, and then maybe get up the ramp. Oh, no, he's not. Just barely blocked. And now he's out of force build, so he's staying in that corner. There. That one little hero zealot was surrounded to be taken out, but the damage has been done. He's had to make so many more, and then neither of them are producing anything right now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the damage has been done. This expansion has been taken out. Spine crawlers were pretty ineffective, which is just, you know, a testament to the very wide openness of this map. I really don't like spine crawler play, maybe more than getting one or two in your mineral line. Uh, to, in order to prevent against that. And as you can see, Hassu's moving out again with a lot of uh, forces. He's got six zealots and three stalkers. And he's turned down his expansion. I would I don't I don't really understand the placement of this forge. I would like to see some some, you know, buildings be thrown down here if he's gonna throw the forge here. Um, it really doesn't help him to have it down there if he's not gonna wall in at all. It could be much safer back here. Uh, he's got one cannon in his mineral line just to defend against that circling move around, although it's in a horrible spot because it's kind of delaying mining on this this one patch right here. I would like to see it right here or right there or right there. Uh, and so looks like the Zergling run around was ineffective. Um, going to be able to start macroing up again. And this is really good. Uh, Hasu Obs was behind because he went for a really fast 5 warp gate, but now because you know he made this push, and he 